Hello and welcome back to Distraint 2. I think we just need to go through this door and we'll be moving on to bigger and better things, hopefully. Enter. Forgiveness. Oh! Miss Godwin! Is that a bunny? What the? I can't even tell. Uh, Miss, oh, Mrs. Goodwin. I said Godwin before. Mrs. Goodwin! No, I'm forgiveness. Silly. Mrs. Goodwin is in the form you gave me. But uh, I'm sorry about everything. She never blamed you for any. How would you know? You're just my subconscious. I know, but I do. I do. I'm forgiveness. Let me help you. How? Please hear me out. There's a reason why you can't forgive yourself. It's all connected. Your past, your parents, how their business was taken away from them. Everything in life molds you. Yeah, and I did the same to Mrs. Goodwin. I took away her home. You put so much time and energy into regretting that decision. Just why? Regret is all you seem to do. I can't just let it go. I don't think I can ever stop blaming myself. It's like something is stopping me. Maybe there is something wrong. Maybe you need to find that something. And then in the throes of your journey, maybe you'll be ready to forgive yourself. I'm not reason, but I advise you to carry on. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Have faith, and you'll restore yourself. Okay. Oh, maybe, like, the whole thing of this is that, like, he didn't shoot himself in the, in the head, and he's actually been going to therapy. And that, like, this is all the things we've been doing in the game has just kind of been, like, him working through things in therapy. Which... I think it'd actually be, like, really cool to see in this game, you know? I, I don't know if that's how it's gonna end up, but I think that's how it's ending up. And I'm kinda ashamed it took me this long to realize it, honestly. Like, I think that's actually really cool to, like, center this whole game around just therapy. Not even just, like, coming to terms with your own emotions and... And stuff like the forgiveness and reason and agony and loss and all that. But like doing it through a therapist lens. I, I think that's a really cool idea. If that is the idea, that is. Would you tell me what happened to you after your parents' passing? They placed me in an orphanage where I then grew up. It was okay, I suppose. I made good friends there with a boy called Charlie. Although I haven't seen him in ages. Tell me more about it. Well, we were very close. Then when I reached adulthood, I moved to another city to pursue a career for McDade, Bruden, and more. I do regret not keeping in touch with Charlie. I regret it all. It sounds like you're too harsh on yourself. Maybe you shouldn't dwell in the past. But now, I'd like to hear more about the death of your parents. Such a tragedy is bound to leave a mark. No, oh, that's fine, Doc. Didn't affect me at all. They died and I'm just like, oh well. <laughs> Going to the orphanage. I try not to think about it. It's easier that way. Tell me, how did that make you feel? I felt sad, but I was able to shut it away. I got over it surprisingly fast. We all react differently to such loss. Could it be possible you never really processed their passing? Tell me, did you ever take time to yourself just to mourn? No, not really. But like I said, it's okay. I didn't need to. Mr. Price, I believe you could be suffering from trauma. It sounds like you're still in denial. Instead of processing your loss, you shut it away. Maybe in the silence, it's trauma molding your every decision? I don't believe that's the case, Doc. I mean, I do appreciate your help. 
Ah, though our time seems to be up. Please, don't shy away from my words. Give it some thought, and who knows what you might find. Oh, now we're in the epilogue. So we are almost done. And I think I'm right about the whole... This being about therapy kind of thing. But then... I still have some questions, like, what's the monster that I've been evading? I must be close now. I want to see this through. Make sense of all of this. Delusion, part two. Do you really want to do this? You'll never vanquish me! I don't need to. <laughs> Boo! Sorry I didn't mean to scare you. Ah, perfect. It's you again. Hmm? How rude! I'm here to help you out of this shithole. Huh? You heard right. And how would you do that? Do not underestimate me. There is but one condition. You shall never abandon me. And that's it. If you would just sign the agreement. Uh, I shouldn't. Don't be an idiot. I'm offering you a way out from this torment. What's there even to think about? I well, suppose you have a point there. Just that... Enough! Sign! <laughs> Enough! Arg! Not you again! Silence! Don't sign it. Just think. The journey. Ang agony. Loss. Forgiveness. Love. I didn't do that one. What? Oh, 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 shit. Shit. Go back! Go back! Go back to love! <laughs> you are healing. Here he is. Reason and his poetic wisdom. Ha 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 ha! Listen to me. You do not need him. Not anymore. But he's offering a way out. Not a way in which you want to go. Trust me this to the last time. What did you do? No! He died. Oh, oh, um. The fuck is this? <laughs> I'm free at last. Oh, uh, what's happening? You chose. Oh, is this hope? Thank you. Welcome, Ambition. Oh, okay. Ambition? There's a fine line between greed and me. You made the right... You made the right choice. For that reason, I would have signed. Don't forget that we're all connected. You will need Ambition once you're out. Out? Is that a little smile on your face? Keep your spirits high. There's still something locked away deep inside. You will need your all to conquer it. Stay strong. You're almost there. Okay. Say so. Am I going the wrong way? Might be going the wrong way. Let's head back. <laughs> What's waiting for me here? Prepare yourself. I'll be there. Okay. Hey, parents. Mom? Dad? Hey, son. Or, sorry, didn't. How are you, honey? I uh, feel more energized. I mean, I must be close now. That's great, honey. Keep going, son. What are you guys doing here? Are you okay? 
Don't worry about us, son. Your dad is right. You need to focus. Listen. This time we were sent by loss. Huh. You don't want to hear it. But you simply must. Okay, what does he have to do? What does he have to say? Loss brings a painful memory. A memory you've locked away. Uh, I'm so sorry, honey. You have to face it. You're strong. You'll overcome this. I love you both. What do I have to do? Close your eyes and focus. Think of us. Did he kill them? I don't think that's what happened, but... b b, -b boring All my toys are in the new home already. And I'm hungry. He killed them. I think he kills them. He sets fire to the house. I want pizza now. <laughs> I still love the running animation in this game. So let's try this. I can't walk out, so... Can't go through that door. I'll go into the other room. Okay. There's nothing there anymore. All the stuff in here is, in, is here in the kitchen. The new home is so much smaller. Oh well. Okay, so everything I need's in the kitchen, huh? But I can't mess with anything in the Oh, they did. I don't know how to tell the time yet. Shouldn't mom or dad be back already? I'm gonna eat at least ten pizzas. Dad says I eat more than horse. I don't think horses eat any pizzas. So it's quite the storm going on. Who that? My parents have said I shouldn't open doors to strangers. I'll just be quiet. Hey kid, don't be scared. My name is John. I'm from the police. Would you open the door, please? Where'd he go? Wait, whoa, what the fuck? Hey. What's your name, kiddo? I, uh, something happened. I'm terribly sorry, but there was a car accident. Where's mom and dad? Use your context clues, kid. I'm very sorry. They're both in a better place now. Like, Florida? No, no, that's worse. Better. A better place. Hey, don't worry. I don't want to hear it, but it's going to be okay. I will not take good care of you. Oh, and before I forget, able to retrieve this from the car. I believe this belongs to you. Oh. But then why was it left in the house though? I'm, I'm confused. What was it doing in the car? 